as if you guys are doing well i'm here to talk about something so unpopular unpopular opinion and i'm sure if it comes out of my mouth you guys are gonna be like eh, what's happening and i'm gonna say it because it's a wisdom of the lord because the lord sent me to talk to you guys anyway um uh, many times we focus on how we handle achievements we're so fixated on outcome being good but what we don't know listen listen carefully what we don't know it matters as well how we handle rejection right it met guys it matters how you handle rejection sometimes many times the blessing is in the rejection i'll tell you what let's say you go for an interview and your interview happens and they send you an email and they say you're not good enough and you believe that you're so good enough ne? what other people do because they are they are going through rejection they are bitter they are sour um, they just become silly people. They become malicious, right? They're likely to bash the other person to say, no, that interview was unfair. Those people um, um, practice nepotism and all of these things, right? Which is maybe sometimes you're justified, but you're planting a seed. One of my faves like saying, like, everything we do is a seed. We are planting seeds. Whenever you go through rejection, guys, take that opportunity in the spiritual language, I think it's in Greek, we say katalambano, like take it by force, right? Take that opportunity whenever you go re through rejection to actually tap into a greater blessing. I'll give you an example with the whole interview thing. You've interviewed and your interview went well, went well according to you, but you feel like they were unfair to you and all of that. You don't go around saying, telling people, yeah, that company is unfair, they are bad people and, you know, the whole thing, right? What you do is you send an email, good day, says, and ma'ams, I thank you very much for the opportunity. I thoroughly enjoyed the interview, although it was unfortunate that I didn't, I didn't get selected. Um, I hope next time there's another opportunity, I will be considered again. All the best right and i'm saying this because guys this has worked for somebody somebody that was initially rejected in a job interview right they sent them a rejection letter but because of their response to the rejection they said they, they said what i'm basically telling you right and after that they're like you know what actually uh are you able to get on a call got on a call discussed a few things and then they're like okay here's uh, they're like please send us your pay slips and then after sending the pay slips they're like okay shop you got the job you know and how easy like, look at how the blessing was hidden. Like, sometimes, guys, we want the blessings to be in the open. But one thing I've noticed, God likes playing, um, not hide and seek, man. What's that? Mystery games. I, I, I genuinely think God loves playing mystery games. And if you're not a person that loves mystery games, you might just miss your bigger blessing. So sometimes, actually, oftenly when you go through rejection, guys, do not take it as they don't want me. It's the end of the world. I'm down and out. Things will never work out for me. Take it as where is the hidden blessing? What's the puzzle? What am I supposed to fix here? Where is the missing letter? Because sometimes it's generally just that because God is also trying to stretch you and help you build up your character. You know, you're rejected in a relationship. And I I've seen this a lot. When people break up with people, um, they tend to say a lot of bogus stuff. I mean, sometimes you, um, you're justified. I mean, but just because you're justified, there's something that one of my friends says that um, she said to me, just because it works for you and it, it, it's a copying mechanism, it doesn't make it right. So just because you feel justified to say bogus stuff about people because they hurt you, it doesn't mean it's right. You know what happens there? God, again, is a humbling God. You will fight with your partner, fight with your friends and say some bogus stuff on the net and then you chase clout and then people are with you and it's it's squabbles and things are being said, things and all of that. You know what God is going to do? God is going to send you back into that relationship. Who is the Bobai now? Who is the clown? Now, and also because we live in instant gratification and in a time where we constantly want to explain ourselves. And then you come back again, you tell us, no guys, we've got it back together. You know what the net is going to do? We bully you. You see what you've done there? You've caused it to yourself indirectly. You know, we come we come back and call you a Popeye and all of these things. So basically what I'm saying to you is no matter how bad it is, it's important how you handle. It's equally important how you handle rejection because in that rejection, there might be a bigger blessing. And that no, there might be a bigger blessing. Just because somebody has said no, they're not a bad person. You know, we've got a very bad habit of saying people i mean or people are evil or people are not good people because people have rejected us or people have let us go 
sometimes you're let go for a bigger blessing sometimes you're rejected because you know what you need to go polish up your skills sometimes you have to do it five times because the first time you did it the environment that you wanted to go into was not ready the second time you did it you didn't do it cor correctly the third time you did it god was trying to teach you a lesson the fourth time you did it your character was being polished up the five the fifth time you do it you get it right because your environment is ready for you God has set resources for you and you are actually good for that particular thing you want. So look at it like this. Don't let um, rejections throw you off. And guys, you know, and I've seen it. I mean, you know what? We, we were entitled to do whatever we want. These are our social platforms. But I, I urge you, when you fight with your loved ones, especially your loved ones, people that are close, your real people. Tina, like social media, yes, some of us, we have good relationships and stuff, but that's what it is, like social media relationships. But when you fight with people in your life at close proximity, your friends, your real friends, people that see you through, please don't bring it on social media. Yes, it's childish in nature, but that thing bruises your relationship forever. And you know how it is, people will never see you the same. You know, so some of these things, instead of coming here and putting energy and fighting on social statuses and all of these bogus things that people do, um, maybe face the person, talk to the person, apologize if you need to, accept the apology if you need to, let it sink in if you need to, but don't be here, don't let rejection make you act out of character. And can tell guys, because many of us, when we rejected, one thing about us, we will act out of character. You know, I was telling one of my friends, like, there's something that she's going through, right? And she was so upset. And, like, she wanted to do something, right? Um, She's like, yeah, because ABCD did this, I'm going to do this. I was like, no, 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 friend. You're not going to do that because that's not on you. That's not your character. Don't let this person drag you into their mess. Don't let this person make you who you are not. You are going to do the right thing. You're going to do who you are. You know, and, and, and it's important. It's important that you, you stay on who you are because people, people drag you into their mess, guys. Some people are really damaged individuals and they will drag you and bleed on you before you know it now it's toxic, before you know it just so damaged beyond repair, you know? So, um, yeah, I know I've been rumbling all around the place, but the whole point was it's important how you handle rejection as well. Have yourselves a good one.